You ever heard of Martian Gothic Unification? I got that game when I worked at The Wiz, like 20 years ago. I got it on a whim just because it looked kind of cool. It was really into Resident Evil and Silent Hill and things like that. So when I saw that there was a survival horror I hadn't seen before, I kind of got a little bit like, ooh, I, I want to buy this. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a like a gem that no one's found type of thing. Yeah, I'm going to play this game. But here's the thing. There's two things. I'm going to be cheating my ass off. And, you know, you might not like that, but that's just how it works. The other thing is, if you do know this game, I'm bad with maps in general. This map is so hard for me to deal with. I looked things up, and years ago, 2016, it seems like someone recreated the map based on a playthrough somebody was doing. And um, I found a copy of this map. I'm not... I, I linked... A website that has images of that but I'm not really sure why that's the only place I can find it I don't know maybe uh, maybe this person didn't publish the maps I recreated like I drew the whole thing straightened it out because it looked like it was a bit angled the one that I saw but I have linked my ver version of the map uh, that I it's there the link is there so I hope that helps anyone who has this game wants to play this game or anything like that who really had a hard time with that map Okay, so that was my long intro. I just wanted to, I had to intro because this is such an interesting, okay, let's just, I also have to disable one because I have to just make sure I can hear, you know, life. Okay. could be founded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space were it not that I have bad dreams. Four centuries have passed since those words were written. We have begun to penetrate infinite space, founded in our little nutshell spacecraft. But we still have our bad dreams. I can sense them coming across the midnight of space and read the cryptic circuitry of their ship decipher all the codes of fear in the hearts of its crew of three. I wish I could tell them that all will be well, but the future, after all, is not so terrible. But that is not in my nature. They're very near now, the dream ship. I know each name, each individual pain. Khan, Matlock, Henzo. Three are coming. Only two will leave. The bad dreams will always be with us. And now and again, dreams come true. Tell me that wasn't good. That was good. It's like, it's just simple and just good. Just makes you want to play the game. I think it makes me want to play. Uh, problem is, I really sucked when I played it the first time, so... I'm going to be using a walkthrough, the map that I updated, and I might be updating it as I go, so if there's weird cuts and pauses, it's the reason. I'm going to try my best to make this fluid, though. This is Ken Roji, Enigma Mission Log, 912 AM, June 17, 2019. I've just crash landed Zeus 19 within 2 kilometers of Beta Base. The base directional beacon was out of operation. And there was a demon of a dust storm raging. Fire broke out on landing, forcing Matlock, Karn, and myself into emergency evacuation. It just does that. Diane Matlock, 
Earth Control Bacteriological Division, 9-12 a.m., June 17, 2019. Beginning investigation of continuous radio silence from Mars Beta Base. I attempted to enter airlock 2, but the door was jammed from the inside. My air supply almost ran out before I made it into airlock 3. No sign of a reception committee. No sign of anyone. We obeyed the secondary director by coming in through separate airlocks. Stay alone, stay alive. That's what we were told, and that's what we've done. Investigating further. Enigma mission log. Martin Kahn, Earth Control Security Division. 9-12 a.m., June 17, 2019. Prime mission directed to investigate cause of continuous communication silence from Beta Base. I'm now inside Beta Base. It's still silent. The mission ended almost before it began. Kenzo had to pilot the ship in by the seat of his pants. While the dust storm didn't help, we crash landed close to the base. I think Kenzo made it all right into airlock two, but I don't know about Matlock. Haven't heard from either of them since we entered separate airlocks. In the middle of all the panic, we didn't forget the secondary director. Stay alone, stay alive. Whatever the hell that means. I've checked the airlock's EVA suit hatches. Plenty of suits. Uh, no air tanks. Okay. Okay, and as you see, look at this pre-rendered fancy. I'm not going to open the airlock door, but there you go. There's that little magnifying glass in the corner. Tank controls, which I'm not going to act like I'm good at those. Yeah, I can't. So something about these backgrounds. It, it always kind of bugged me that you can't really open that locker. Let me examine. Sound like he's so far away. Is it because the camera is? EVA suit, tanks empty. Hmm, radio. Dang it. What else do we have? Watch. This thing tells more than the time. Okay. Right now it's 3.23. Oh yeah, that's my health bar. Health? That's my health bar above me. It's a personal letter. It's a personal letter. Okay. Wrapper. Wrapper from an old maid country cottage candy bar. <laughs> I can Copyright. Read off what's left, but I'm not that kind of guy. Why do you have a wrapper? Is it personal too? Silver bullet. My lucky silver Expect bullet. Expect encrypteds. I wonder if there are any Martian werewolves around. There you go. I don't know. Should I do the radio? What's radio? Okay, I think there's gonna be talking here. Well, let's examine it first. Radio for on planet communication only. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna introduce you to me if you don't know. I try to look at everything. So if you hate that, if you hate somebody who looks in all the corners and stuff, you're not gonna like this playthrough. Okay. Also, this is a horror game. I don't know if you know that. If you don't like horror games, it's survival horror. I mean, I have infinite health, so it's not really that scary, but it's, you know, it's scary. Oh my gosh. So, you know. Ten months. No one's heard from anyone. So like nobody's talking. Oh, I turned and that happened. Uh oh. I turned and it was about to do it again. Alright. I think there are two lockers here. But I could be wrong. 
Can I put the letter? I can't put the letter. I don't know why I can't put the letter in there. Let me put the wrapper in here. Let me put the bullet in here. And now, let me see if I can look over here. And there's nothing in it. Okay, see? There are two lockers. I wish it was a little more obvious. That's so strange. Okay. And there's a light on that one, so you might think, oh, is there something going on? I don't know. Is it because I put stuff in it? <gasps> Wait a sec. Wait a second, I just thought about that. Let me, let me see something. Darn, I was hoping it was that cool. <laughs> oh, all right. So I just wasted a little time, but I had to see. Now, how many times I tried testing this game out? I forget what I clicked on. And the fact that it's 2019. Hmm. It's almost like this game knew. It's like, yeah, 2019 was the start. That's what we're saying. Use the control panel. Do a little Marilyn Monroe action. No, 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 sorry. This is, this is scary. It is, though. That's not good. Well, well. Hey, the decontam door is malfunctioning. Can't get into the goddamn base. The decontam door is still for general bypass on code here. We'll try and get you out. This game has some fun, some fun dialogue moments. Um, also, if you press select, you can switch characters. Now I want to be Kenzo. This game looks cool. Just voice acting. Some games don't have that. It's just like this. They they did. They did it. I'm proud of them. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played that. I don't know what the rest of the game besides the front part looks like. The front part because besides the beginning. I was happy that I bought the game at the time, but I could not play it. And it was just frustrating for me. Um. I remember years ago on a shitstorm, um, it was it's specifically called that. <laughs> the best friends played this. It came out of nowhere, and I was so excited because like oh, I've never seen anyone play this that I watch because it seems like such a random game that I picked up. And um, they played it, and they were talking about how they they thought it was pretty ambitious and stuff like that. So it kind of sparked my interest again. And then I tried playing it a couple years ago and I was so awful. So I'm just glad I have a, a good map now and a cheat code, honestly, because I can't play that. I'm just, I'm not good. The air is almost gone. And here's the thing that I always say. If you hate the fact that I cheat, if you hate the way that I play, there actually are other playthroughs of this game. I looked. I'm surprised, but there are. <laughs> I'm very happy about it, too. Um, okay, let's see what you have. Retro digital watch and health monitoring device. Health Standard monitor. Earth control issue. Standard earth control issue. <gasps> Satsuma. I had to look this up. I know this is a citrus fruit. It looks pretty fresh. Um, and one of the walkthroughs I saw said that you could just eat it. And I'm like, should I just eat it? I'm like, if I need the space, maybe I'll eat it. But right now... I'm a long way from Tokyo. Is that your thumb? Is that your head in that picture? What is that? Okay. Um, booklet. Tips for video games. Totally useless. Is that... I think I saw something in the comparison of the PC version of this. I'm playing the, the PlayStation version of this because I have the game. Um, and... Supposedly, that's what you click on to put cheat codes in for that. I don't. That's not how I do it here. The only cheat code I could find was infinite health. I couldn't find weapons, any item modifier, any make enemies easier, or anything like that. So reliable radio, but limited range. I only really wanted unlimited bullets too, but 
Because I want to be able to just like clear, clear the base. <laughs> I want to clear the base. Um, is this the locker? No. Okay. So you think that there's going to be a locker and you're not sh Am I still? Hi. I'm walking forward. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. There are two lockers here. This one's open. Wow. Yeah, the cameras are fun in this game. Nothing in this one. But anyone who... You should... Come on, you should be used to this. Is there nothing in these lockers? Should put stuff away? Just make sure. Okay, um... Uh, not the watch. Put the photo in the locker. Place a book in the booklet in the locker. Keep my radio. Um, should I switch to Matlock just to see what she has? No, you know what? I'll I'll get to her when when it's her time. I guess. It seems like this is doing something. It's like, don't worry. She'll have her moment. Bam. something wrong about that decontamination. Something very wrong. So they both say something. I wonder if she will too. She probably will. Okay. Okay. There you go. Here we go. You need a map of this place. That's why the map that it comes with. Wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show you. I haven't shown you yet. This is the map. Okay, can you point to where I was? I know where I was. How do you not know where I was? We'll tell you. We'll tell you in a second. Don't worry. Uh, I think this is the way I want to go first. The base members nicknamed I'm on Madison Avenue. Okay. Cool. So, now that I know I'm on Madison Avenue, such a handy piece of information to know. There's Madison Avenue. <laughs> now can you tell me where I came from? There's an A there for the airlock. That's where I came from. So that one's not so bad. Let me tell you, this map is awful. <laughs> I'm sure someone out there is like, no, this is your basic whatever map. It works out fine. I just can't handle it. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Okay. You hear the noises? what I mean. It's good. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. Okay. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Two sealed bulkheads. I was on Madison Avenue. These, these green things are not, it's not anything if you're thinking, what is that? It's probably a sign or, I don't know, I can't even read it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a sign that says Madison Avenue. Either way. Okay, now that I did that and you saw the airlock. Can you tell me where I just went on the map?
I went south on this map, okay? So if anyone was wondering, that's what I tried to do. I tried to go south and both of those ways are... So now I'm going to go up. That The rainbow door, the rainbow tag door, and the that's where I'm going. So it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Doesn't it doesn't get that confusing. I'm sorry, for me it's very confusing. I can't I can't do it. Is anyone around? Anyone alive? Or dead? If you're dead, don't answer. Well, are you gonna comment on the fact that this looks like something? No? No. Okay. Dead donuts. This should be rainbow tag. Rainbow tag required. There you go. Okay. So. I wish I wish these um were like visible. Maybe they actually do say something helpful. Because this door is not on doors like this are not on my map, but they don't really have to be. If anyone here was alive, would they have left the corpse lying in a corridor? This is what struck me struck me the first time I saw him. Like he's awfully pale. <laughs> like, these zombies look kind of comical to me, but it's still pretty creepy. There's 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 definitely comical things. You'll see what I mean. Is that okay? Yep. Green tag required, and that should be. I don't know, two. There's a there's a two on there. Perfect, because that's what that is. All right. Okay. Hi. It says Felici on his name badge. Felici. I want the mic recorder for Felici and I want an orange tag. Perfect, because I'm getting close to a door. These coffee cups on the floor? <laughs> is this the orange tag door? I think it is. No. Actually. Something is off here. What is this? This is the Broadway hatch. All right, this is a little awkward. I'm not, I feel like something is a little bit off, but I can't really tell what it is and maybe I'm wrong, but there's a health boost on the Broadway hatch. Okay. I don't mean to confuse anybody. It's just, I'm trying to see if I can update this map too. So that means I'm on Broadway. There's Broadway. That means that right up here, I should not be able to continue. It should be heat fused. Looks like the lock mechanism has been heat fused. Okay. So that makes sense. So this is Broadway. Uh, so I thought this would be the yellow tag over over this way. Hey there. So I'm still gonna get lost. This is gonna be cool. I. Th you gotta really check this game though. Sometimes there's stuff going on that you don't see. Jeez, there's somebody right there on the floor. Like, is this anything? It looks like it's. So it's like, is this something? Nope. It's not reacting to it being anything. So. Hear that breathing? Sounds comforting. <gasps> Something? Ooh, I got the med key. That's all the way up there. A key marked M E D. Med? Yeah, the med bay, man. That's all the way up. That's past the heat fuse door, unless I go some other way, which I don't know. Why. That's probably that's probably much later. They probably giving me this key super early. So I thought, did I go in a circle? Is that what happened? 
Nothing? Okay. See, I'm a little confused. Where the heck am I? Green tag required. So this is a gymnasium now. Wow, he gets really far. The bulkhead sealed. If one sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Okay. So there should be a hallway over here. Yeah. Corridor after corridor. Not a living soul. Shadows and echoes. This is a haunted house on Mars. Oof. This guy's waxing poetic. Is there anything in this stuff? Or I don't know if you can find stuff in the corners here, to tell you the truth. I'm not looking at the walkthrough like for every little tidbit, but like if this starts getting frustrating, I'm gonna be looking at it a lot. Is what I mean. No, so I looked at that. Ooh. Sound feel like felt like it stopped pretty abruptly. Hear that breathing, huh? Okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, so I. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, it's a vac tube, I mean. This is a vac tube. And um, that means that this is the bathroom right next to me. Should I put something in the vac tube? I'm not going to use that right now, but I think this is the bathroom. Does the bathroom need a green tag? Because if so, I have to put something there. The bulkhead sealed. If one sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. That's the bathroom. That means there's another bulkhead. Wait, if that's the bathroom. There's no quick turn that I could find. I wish. So then it was just like, can't you just press this? Like, I don't know. I tried. Um, this is a green tag door. Okay, so now that I have an orange tag, let's go through the orange door. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to search here. The same. Just sure. I'm making sure I'm searching everything I can search. And this is the heat fused. Can't search any of the stuff that's destroyed and demolished here. Whatever squealing it needs to control. That's the Broadway hatch. All right, so. Okay. Well, call me a techno zen hippie, and I've been called that before. But 
There was the fed man hovering in front of me in the Boulevard Saint Michel. I can hear him speak in my mind. So, we've got reanimation, telepathy, and levitation. Now I call that downright supernatural. An alien haunting. Are you on something? No. There's a hatch here. No. Is that a hatch? Yeah. So, um, this thing won't hurt me, watch. We'll just pretend like we didn't know that was going to happen. Like, oh my gosh. Alright. So something I haven't done yet. Let's examine it. Standard issue mic recorder. Probably for personal use only. Okay, and now let's use it. Antonio Felici, base director, day log August 8th, 2018. 11.56 p.m. I was walking down Broadway when I first heard them coming. It's a dead man hovering in front of me. I'm just walking by. I can still hear gunfire. Earth Control should never have shipped those weapons in. If anyone gets to hear this, they'll have the eye with sign. I handed the map to Keo to Judith. The crew trust her more than me. They think I'm in Alibi's pocket. Well, who gets our use for things? Yuri broadcast a message to people before system closed down. He said, stay alone. Bulkheads are sealed. Shuttle bay area obstructed. No way out. I'm heading back to my old room. Lock myself in. Sooner or later they'll come for me, and that'll be the finish. If anyone hears this, tell my wife I kept the faith. She'll know what that means. Some things are personal. So there you go with that. Stay alone, stay alive. Orange tag required. Would you look at that? I have one. Um, they get used as you go. Uh, I think there's only one orange tag in the game anyway, so. Let's hope so. Okay, so tags open doors. I'm just admiring the graphics. This looks fun, doesn't it? The base director's girlfriend, perhaps? <gasps> oh, ammo. Ammo for piccolo. Don't have piccolo. Ooh. Vacuum tube. Makes sense. The Back lower to... the tech, the easier to repair if it goes wrong. It must connect to a fair number of back tubes on the base. Okay, so is there anything? Nothing? Okay. Cool paintings and stuff. Alright. Use computer. Voice password required. Oh no. For Felici's computer, whatever shall I do? This one's pretty easy to figure out. Antonio Felici. Computer accessed. There you go. Thanks. I see your computer, your your twenty nineteen computer. Judith Haraway. Let's see.
Why, thank you. Unrestricted? <gasps> what? Oof, this is a lot. Alright, well, hey. You can skip past this if you want. Yeah. On August 6, 1996, that was the year before I graduated high school. They like August a lot. Proof of ancient Martian life was announced by NASA to the world's media based on the identification of microfossils in a Martian meteorite. Within a few months of the announcement, President Clinton made a public commitment to the search for extraterrestrial life on Mars. 15 million years ago, an asteroid or impact comet blasted an area of the Martian surface into space. One of the rocks from this ejecta commencing on a wayward orbit, which ended in, oh, I can't even talk, Antarctica in 11,000 BC. I don't know if my word structure was right. This meteorite weighed 4.2 pounds and its materials were formed 4.5 billion years ago on Mars when rocks were first condensing on Earth. It was discovered in 1984 and labeled, labeled rock ALH. Okay, so from the beginning, NASA's claim was a source of contention in scientific circles. But dissenting voices were gradually silenced as later investigators proved conclusively that fossil bacteria of age or okay i wonder if this is true i actually think this is based off of true things so if you want to look into that should i look into it let's look into that <laughs> okay this is a real thing but i don't know about the bacteria part because i just i don't want to take too much time with this right now but Okay, Vita-1 base. The core of Vita-1 base in its present form was completed on a, blah, 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 2015, crewed by six men and four women. Vita-Life. Vita-1 was intended above as a research, above all, as a research base for, ex, for extant Martian life. Okay. To the present time of 2018. President Allenby has ordered all of the resources, to, okay, Earth Control to be placed at the disposal of the Vita project. Multinational company Earth Control to be placed. Okay. Okay. Hel Hella's plane. Hella's. Hella's. I think that's it. Others are planned. Oops. I'm sitting here clicking, thinking I can press. Why does it go up to the top again? Vita Project. Vita Project was instituted by President Allenby 2005 to search for physical evidence of extraterrestrial life. Mood. Oops. Mood. Most sophisticated of all info mesh systems is bleh. And of this series, mood is considered the most fully conscious and eccentric. Info mesh user for mood is Andrew Moore, who has borne the stress of frequently meshing with fortitude. Mood may be addressed through the audio walls of mood chamber, but it's primarily but is primarily contacted by a simurial interface chair. Once the user is seated, he or she will enter a psionic reconstruction of a familiar habitat. Although the user's body will remain seated in the mood's chamber, their consciousness will be entirely absorbed in a sim simurial world. Okay, so... So it's just... This game is... This game is, it could, they could just do this now. Like this game should be out now. It's just the controls suck. Earth control is best summed up by its logo. A picture of Mars cradled in a pair of human hands with the slogan, Earth cares. Okay. Earth here, unity, multinational under its president. Allen B. Allen B is everywhere. Arms manufacturer, bioengineering and space exploration. Okay. One of the main aims of Earth Control is the human colonization of Mars, with a view to terraforming the planet by the end of the 21st century. If successful, this will be followed by the terraforming of Venus. Really? Just can you just think you can just do that? I'm not a fan of that. Earth Control. 2000, I mean, Allen B. By 2005, Allen B. was in a position to fulfill his lifelong ambition, quest for life in space, with greater financial resources than the chronically underfunded NASA. He effectively took over the management of space exploration under the aegis of Earth Control. As Allenby himself said at the time, from Sputnik to Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, it took little more than a decade. Now it's 30 years, 36 years since the first manned lunar landing, and we still haven't managed to send a human to Mars. Just what the hell's wrong with us? 
I wonder if this guy... I wonder if we get to see this guy and if he looks a certain similar... Allenby. That was a lot, but... Oh, the parallels. <laughs> oh, the parallels in some of these things. InfoMesh is a generic name applied to neural computer networks extrapolated from the personalities of living people. Okay. So it's, yeah, somebody's brain in the computer. The neural networks interact directly with the user's mind with a shared mental world known as a simreal simreality. Simureality. Okay. All InfoMesh systems possess consciousness, but the nature and degree of this consciousness, consciousness is a matter of pure speculation. Oh, are you saying that they have AI? What is happening? Only skilled InfoMesh practitioners, known as meshers, are able to communicate on a telepathic level with these sophisticated networks. There is some evidence that accomplished meshers have a psychic ability. Oh, but this is a matter of debate. What is certain is that by any normal person is likely to suffer severe mental trauma if they engage in meshing. Is that what was happening here? Some people were trying to do it themselves. The most intelligent of all InfoMesh systems is the YX009 series. And of the series, Mood is considered the most fully conscious and eccentric. Okay. So I'm assuming Andrew Moore is going to be like the big baddie meshed with mood or something. And I'm, I'm assuming that's what's going. I don't always get plots and things like this. Sometimes they're just way over my head. Like reading this, I'm like, I don't want to sound stupid, but I'm not good with big plots and big things and stuff. I don't always get it. I have to be out and look at the bigger picture, which is why it's easier for me to watch somebody else play. I have a hard time doing both. So if I miss things, yeah, I'm going to. Just like everybody does. But I'm already thinking that people were just trying to do it themselves and some things went wrong. And these people are computer people. You know what I mean? Like they're computer people. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm, I haven't really... So I don't know what like Martian... I'm assuming that they meshed with the computers. That's what they are and that's why they're telepathic. And up to about 3 billion years ago, Mars was warm and lush. Vast rivers rush down such valleys as the Valles Marineris. I'm probably saying it wrong. The climate changed when the planet's orbit altered, causing the seas to evaporate and the temperature to fall. Martian life retreated underground, drawing energy from hot springs and thermal areas. Under the surface of Mars, there is a layer of permafrost 10 meters deep. Back in the 20th century, it was okay. It was still existed on Mars that was likely to find it down to 50 meters or more. Red planet possesses six elements of essential to, that are essential to life. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. I keep clicking with my mouse. Phosphorus and sulfur. Sorry about that. Mars Surveyor 2005 proved that microorganisms once thrived, but living bacteria were not discovered until the establishment of Beta Base 1. Living Martian bacteria, Derbert gland, and Flora, these were found mostly 60 meters or more underground. So wait, so what the meshing, oh, then I'm not sure where this has to do with this, if it has to do with a curious feature of the three, maybe the, the creatures meshed with the computers, with the people. A curious feature of the three types of Martian microorganisms is that they have been observed to bond into tri tripartite tri structures of rod ovoid spiral, of rod ovoid spiral, tripartite. Okay. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Is that what I... Yeah. Okay. Chronology. Okay. 1965, Mariner 4. The first successful flyby. It's 1971, entered Martian orbit. 1974, orbiter lander sent back some data before contact loss during landing sequence. 1976, Viking 1, Viking 2, achieved Martian orbit. No proof of Martian life. 84, meteorite discovered. 96, microfossil forms in the meteorite. 1996, look, looked for water. 1996, uh, looking for rocks and soil. 98, Japanese probe, looked, for, looked at the Martian atmosphere. Okay, 1998. First stage of them trying to do something, 
for Martian orbit. 1999, polar samples of ice and carbon, mass severe, okay. Soil samples and return them in 2005. Under strict quarantine, just to make sure. Uh, existence of microfossils. 2009, first manned landing of Mars in Zeus 1. Uh, this is after this game. These are after this game. This game took place in 2001, by the way. If anyone's just like, wait, I just realized. So if it says anything after 2001. Uh, President Earth Control, Zeus to the program. Soil rock samples, 2010. Biologists discovered clear evidence of fossilized bacteria in the samples. So they, from a permanent, okay. So they were like, let's have a base there. 2011, the core sampling base. 2015, the base Vita-1 was completed. And then Vita-1 extended crew in 2016 to 30 members. So there was 30 people. And 27, 44 people. 2018, 58 people. Further extension underway, but then everything went nuts. So, so far, there was, there's about 50 some people here. Okay. Oof. Lots of information. Fourth planet from sun, yes. Diameter, Martian day. 24 hours, so, so it's a little bit longer than a day day. Our day, I should say. An, an Earth day. Uh -huh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, this is just information. Cool. I almost forgot where I was. Um, I'm going to have to end this recording after this section because it's we're running a bit long. But, um, okay, what's restricted? <gasps> <gasps> Ooh. I don't know. I'll have to look for a password later. Local? We saw that. Storage location contents. Oh. In the chem lab, there's a Martian rock. There's a white tag and a microcorder in the bio lab. Where's the park lane storage hatch? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I haven't gotten there yet. Barn is going to have to get to that one. That's where the green tag is. There's a health boost, health, health boost and antitoxin. Ooh. The Kremlin. Ooh, what? The Kremlin storage hatch? Flare bolts? Flare bolts? I guess I'm going to get out of that. It's. I didn't realize it's literally showing me what's in every single one of them. So I guess this is a good place to refer to when I'm not sure where I put things. Okay, cool. Not yet. There's no reason why I'm... Yeah. This is how you save. Um, I'm also going to save state. Give me a sec. State. All right. Right now, and I'm gonna lick its 
Hamilton. <laughs> okay. I had to, I just had to play that. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so weird. Okay. Decontam door opens. You're out of the box now, Karn. The Decontam 3 door won't respond. We'll have to find a way to unlock Decontam 3. I gotta get out of here quick. Yeah. <laughs> because once she's on you, it's so frustrating. <laughs> okay. So I got... I got the decontam door done. Um, you're safe right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Karn, and um, and I'm gonna pick up next time. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with Karn uh, the next time I play, and I hope you enjoyed. The, if you've never seen it before, like I said, I haven't seen anything past these parts. And you don't mind somebody cheating and just looking at everything just to see where everything goes. Then that's what I am. Otherwise, there are other playthroughs out there and now you know this game exists. Martian Gothic.